Previously on I Can. It's 2.49, so I gained 0.4 pounds. It's time for the lie detector. During the time you had a cold, did you cheat? No. Have you cheated on the challenge at any point? Yes. That was shocking. Whew. Welcome to I Can. I invited two contestants to live in my house for the next six months. The goal is to help them lose weight and learn how to live a healthy lifestyle. I know it sounds impossible, but I know they can do it. This is the I Can Challenge. People might be thinking, hey man, what you doing to lose weight that fast? It can't be healthy. I promise you, I ain't doing nothing but natural eating and working out. If you take all the things that we eat, all the processed foods, and I ain't even a health nut. This is me just talking, being transparent, because I'm the one that loves eating all the bullshit. For the last two and a half months, I've cut out all the bullshit. All the salty foods, from chips to burgers to wings and pizzas and all that, I've cut all that out. All the sweet stuff from cookies, pies, frappuccinos and shakes, I cut all that out. If you cut all that out, and this is two and a half months in, and you train, work out, not even that heavy, this, this train cardio mostly, and you're gonna see drastic results. So we have increased our intensity on our exercises. Yeah, but not all. Hold me too low. Yeah, yeah. Montana's elbow's kicking in. We've touched weights um, occasionally, but now they're like almost daily, so we're doing Stairmaster to get in that main cardio to just get warmed up 20, 25 minutes. And then we're going into lifting and um, uh, with some high uh, reps on our sets. And so, um, you know, that just burns out your arms and your muscles and um, helps though to keep you in a fat burning mode and to strengthen up and tone as well. And that's what we definitely need so we're not all jiggly at the end. Right now, what they're doing is lightweight, high reps. I'm talking about reps of 25, 20. In the beginning, when we first do it, we were doing really lightweights and we would do reps of 50. So it just ranges. I'm what? Yes, indeed. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you are raw today and you're gonna get that treadmill 45 minutes. Can I get a commitment from her? Can I, can I do a, a 45-minute walk outside? How many steps is a mile? When I'm here at the house, I'm on the cell with my sister on, um, on Meet because I have an Android, <laughs> so it's not FaceTime. <laughs> So she's in the house and she ha says hello to everybody. And so today uh, we were talking and AD came in and he was like, sister, what you doing? Where you at? Okay, cool. We got, we got 12,000 steps and we going raw. We only eat the fresh fruits, vegetables today. And we're going to take our weight today. We're going to, you got a, you got a scale at home? I do. Through their conversation, she committed today to eat raw foods today and to get her workout in, and she submitted her starting weight. So since y'all around the same number as far as weight, we all gonna end up at 160. You on you you with us, right? I'm good at 160. <laughs> Let's go. I believe that she will do the challenge set before her for today. We're gonna have to see about the other days. <laughs> <laughs> Farewell, Bon Bon. Farewell, Bon Bon. <laughs> okay, meal prep. You gotta be ready. <sighs> you gotta be ready. This is definitely something that you have to do when you're trying to get your life right. <laughs> it's meal prep. This will save your life for sure. You know what I'm saying? I think yeah. you're gonna hit your mark today. Yeah, we're gonna see, man. We're gonna see. I think you're gonna hit your mark today. We're gonna see, bro, because I've been think working. You're gonna hit your mark today. Now, do I, do I make it? Because I'm also, because of, uh, what was it? Not last week. A couple weeks ago, you know, I had that, a couple weeks where I was stalling with the weight. Yeah, yeah. Kind of like, I don't know. I've been, I've been, I've been hitting the weights now. So yeah. Ah. 
I'm nervous. I'm nervous about that. Because I've been hitting the weights and not just doing mostly cardio. I've been doing both. And I've been doing yeah. cardio weights every day. So that, That's going to pay off for us in the end. Yeah, I'll do so too. Yeah, I, I, I just want to see gonna what it's going to look like today. Oh, no, I think you got 80. I got 80, man. We got 80. Positive reinforcements, positive thinking. We here with it. So we're going to do cheat day, another cheat day, our second cheat day, when you lose 100 pounds. Oh, snap. Yeah, hurry up. Hurry up, huh? <laughs> Damn. Okay, all right. Let's we got to get there then. Here we go. Moment of truth. Boom. So we lost how many? Oh, that's crazy. Damn it! We lost four pounds. Four pounds. It's 343.3. Three. It's okay. Nah, man. Damn. So I weigh in and I'm down officially 88.7 pounds and it feels good. It feels good, but I'm still a little disappointed because I had higher aspirations and expectations for today. I expected to be eight pounds down from last week. Last week I weighed in at 347. I wanted to drop eight pounds to be, to break the 340 mark and be 339. So not only did I not knock down eight pounds this week, I only knocked down four. Ah, I know there's a muscle growth. Mm -hmm. It has to be that because bro, I've been, I've been eating my foods, eating the rawness. Oh my thing, you passed up. Huh? You know what I'm saying, yeah. The lie detector says you good. Yeah, man. The so, only person we gotta worry about is Onika. I want to say that she's gonna be okay, though, man. So this week, John lost four plus pounds. He was a little uninspired by that, but you never know what your body's gonna do and give up. So you just gotta keep putting in the work, time and time again, and it definitely, in the end of the day, it will definitely pay off. Even before I started doing this program, I know when I would have a heavy day, a heavy right. hard day, I could tell the muscle gain, I got the gain, that's, that's why they call it gains. You know what I'm saying? That you're gonna go up to go back down. Right. You know what I'm saying? Or you're, gonna, you're not gonna drop as fast, and then after a few days, boom, you're like, right. oh shit, okay, yeah. I'll take it. Yeah. I've been eating right, I've been drinking right, and I've been working out right. And I think that's where it's at. Since I've been back from me being under the weather, I was down for like two weeks, so, once I got back, AD was like, bro, we're going to incorporate more working out with the strength training, you know, resistance training with the weights, which we've already been doing, but not at the point where we're doing it every day. Now we're doing it every day. Um, and I can feel my body changing. I can feel me getting stronger again. Now I don't wait. I don't wait. Like, damn, you're 10 seconds, 15 maybe, before I hit the stairs. Now I get this here. I'm breathing heavy a little bit, but I can go straight up. Uh -huh. Yeah, so it's the, it's the extra 88 off me. You know what I'm saying? That make a difference. I tell you, I can't wait till you can say 100. Right. 100 count weight off me? That's like in two weeks. I see. I'm going to try to make it a week and a half. Yeah. OK, there you go. Onika! The cheater. No. The redeemer. The redeemer. The redeemer. <laughs> yes. All right. Let's see. Come on. Let's go. Let's I'm go. ready. Mm -hmm. Here we go. <laughs> oh my God. Is it done? Yeah. Amen. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take it. Okay, we'll take that. Yeah. yeah. We'll take that. 244.4. 244.4. So I am down 44.1 pounds as of today, and I feel great. You know, I'm coming off of a little slight half pound gain from last week. Be back down um, like almost five pounds this week is great. So I feel energized um, still. Uh, I'm still having my aches and pains, but um, overall, I feel really great. We're gonna be in the, in the, in the 30s together. Next week. Uh -huh. <laughs> Onika, her weight loss has been definitely slow and trying, but she gets up every single day. She fights every single day. And that's all you can really, really do is keep putting in the work and your body will definitely catch up. So our third cheat day will be when you lose 
100 pounds. So that would be, I think 188, because you started at 288. Correct. Okay. So right now you're down how many pounds? 44.4 pounds. 44.4? Mm -hmm. Yes, nice. Yes, there you go. Yes, indeed. Yes. Uh -huh. That 50, <laughs> you gotta get over that 50 mark. Yes, absolutely. All right, All right cool. cool. So here we go. I'm so glad I moved my stuff in early. <laughs> 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 we, we, from, my, from my turnaround trip. Yeah, we went go hunting over a day trip. It's them four days. Mm -hmm. We be worried about. Okay. Well, okay, cool. All we gotta do is get it in now. Well, hello. Who do we have here? Anika. I'm Chef Antoine. Nice to meet you. What's on, brother man? Nice to meet you. Big job. Yeah. <laughs> Chef yes, Antoine, nice to meet you. Chef nice Antoine. To meet you. I am Chef Antoine, and I have been called in because as a raw vegan chef, I've been brought in to you know, help break up the monotony and bring in some new recipes. I wanted to pop in to show y'all just a couple of quick, easy meals that you can make that are raw vegan, delicious, right in line with your cleanse, and a break from the monotony, because that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to break it up. Yes, sir. So what we have here first is We've done a little bit about walnut meat street style tacos. Mm. We have your butter leaf romaine lettuce here that you can build your taco shell out of. We have our patented walnut taco meat here. A little bit of diced tomatoes, some cilantro, a little bit of avocado. Very simple. I got you guys plates. So if you want to start building, please feel free. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. But that's where we'll start at, okay? Because okay. we like to take traditional, you know, classics and put a new raw vegan spin on them. So today we had Chef Antoine in the kitchen today and he gave us some healthy alternatives and some additional food recipes to um, try and taste today so that we can get some more variety in our menus. Number two, now this one, great on a summer day, really cools you down, surprisingly filling you up. This is a simple heirloom tomato salad right here. We've got two different types of heirloom tomato salad, two heirloom tomatoes thinly sliced up. Got a little bit of scallions on there, some onion, a little bit of salt, sea salt, black pepper. Okay. We got some olive oil on there, a touch of agave just to kind of wake up the taste buds. Mm -hmm. and also, just definitely something that not only will make your plate look good, but your stomach feel good. Okay. There's that one right there. Absolutely, absolutely. Antoine, the raw food chef. I love this guy. This guy has one of the best personalities I've ever been around. Ever. He's just phenomenal. He's very informative. He makes the food, he prepares the food fairly quickly, so there's not a lot of weight or anything like that. And the food is delicious. This kind of gives them the opportunity to learn how to make some raw foods that are quick and easy and taste really, really great. I, mean, I want to introduce you to the last. This is a new raw vegan spin on ceviche. You okay. Ceviche, you have one, shrimp, fish and have things like that in traditional. Right. This ceviche is a cauliflower ceviche. Okay. okay. A lot of the same elements as regular ceviche, but the base of it is gonna be your cauliflower. You'd be surprised at not only, because you know, we wanna let this sit like regular ceviche about 30 mm -hmm. minutes. You'd be surprised at how well the cauliflower holds up while still absorbing a lot of the juice and the citrus from what we made to give you really, really flavor, flavor okay. bites. Okay. Oh yeah. Well, that dish looks beautiful. I'm gonna jump on this ceviche first. That's yes. the spoon. <laughs> the fork is right here. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's a hit. It's easy. It's easy. It's a hit. Those tomatoes are very filling, and you know they're gonna satiate that appetite. So keep it looking good. Oh, those are great. Tomatoes are good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. He made some uh, some walnut tacos, and those were fire. Uh, some heirloom tomatoes. And then we had uh, cauliflower ceviche, and that was delicious. So I met Antoine, and it was dope. Good energy man, good positive brother. Um, the food was fire, you know. Um, the lettuce leaf tacos were better than the ones at the other spot I'm used to. It tastes more closer to meat than the other one does. Mm -hmm. I taste the taco flavor too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. The flavor is fire. You gotta try out this taco. What happened to the chips and the beef jerky? I, have, I don't want it anymore. You don't want it anymore? You want our stuff now? You have to have more of it. Ah, man, really. Okay. We went ahead and we did two smoothies as well. We had a citrus mango and carrot smoothie with ginger, perfect for detoxing, but really great on a hot day like today. They really seem to enjoy that. So right. first up, what we have here, this is a mango, carrot, and ginger detox smoothie. Mm. You know, right? It's gonna be that ginger that kind of gives it a little bit of that detox quality, and then you know the mangoes and carrots are gonna be full of your vitamins and things like that. 
I made a little batch for us to enjoy. Figured we'd do a little toast here, yeah. All right. <laughs> oh, it's cold. Cheers. It's too cold. Cheers. Cheers to y'all. I I uh, I can't take for respect. I can't take for respect. Yes, indeed. Boom. All right. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's good. Yeah, Jamba couldn't do that better. And then I finished it off with everyone's favorite beats. Yes, no, you might not like beats, but the Decadent Beat Detox Smoothie was probably one of the bigger hits. It's got some ingredients that don't seem like, you know, when they're outside of the blender would pair well together. But I'll tell you, once that thing hits your taste buds, you know, it's gonna be good. I can't all right, all right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was wrong. That's cold. Mm -hmm. How about it's cold. For a workout, maybe an hour before a workout, hit one of these, that ginger and those beasts, they're gonna push you through. Okay, this is gonna be an energy drink. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Your shirt. Good. I enjoyed it, man. I enjoyed the, the food that Antoine prepared for us, and I plan on eating more. So, yeah, I'm fine with my ice being um, not directly on my skin, because my skin is sensitive. I never feel it really if i put it over my clothes i see people do that all the time oh, yeah. but for me i gotta be directly on my skin for me to yeah. feel it to feel like i'm getting the benefit from it it looks like your swelling going down a little bit mm. no probably don't feel like Let's that see. well maybe it looks like it from this angle yeah wait a minute what's the that's the right is the bad right yeah god so the right looks better than down. the left right now what? No, now the, the left, left looks, looks bigger. good this is the left the left looks bigger. Nah. Yeah, for sure. Look at this, right here. Right here. Oh, you're talking right there. Yeah. Oh, I'm looking, I'm looking like right here, because right here is swollen. No, they both swollen. <laughs> <laughs> Exciting times. They're doing well. Onika is down 44 plus pounds. Ja is down 88 plus pounds. We're doing well. Is it, Ooh, is it babies? Dizzy, this ain't for real. Take your time. Uh-huh. I think I'm dizzy right there. I'm dizzy right there. Oh. 